Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute-a-day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio right here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro. Come on in here. Get yourself something hot or cold to drink. Sit down. Let's enjoy some time together in God's Word. Today, just verse 6 in Psalm 3. Psalm 3 has been our subject all week long. A psalm of the passion and of the cross and of the resurrection. All of these things are reflected here in Psalm 3. It's one of the six psalms that the church has used and seen as reflections of that passion. And so we're making reference to that today as well. Today in verse 6, we have these words, I will not be afraid of a multitude of people, though they set themselves against me round about. So the people here are that are mentioned, of course, we look to the crucifixion of Christ and his passion, and there was a mob there on that day before Pilate, And what did they cry out? They cried out, away with him, away with him, crucify him. They were said about Jesus, and of course, there on the cross, they mocked him while he hung there dying. Uh, I'm sure they mocked him at other times during his ministry as well. But he says, I will not be afraid of a multitude of people. What gives him that kind of confidence? Well, he says, the Lord is a shield about me. He is my glory and the one who lifts up my head. He's the one that answers me from his holy mountain. He's the one that awakens me from the sleep. He's the one that upholds me. Therefore, I will not be afraid. Now, there's no therefore in verse 6, but I like a therefore there, don't you? Because all of this leads up to this statement, I will not be afraid. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a multitude of people that are coming against the church in our day. A multitude of people in the United States, and I know I have a lot of listeners in other places around the world, but in the United States, the uh, LGBTQ mob is coming for the church. The passage of this law has been passed yet, but it looks likely to be passed. Uh, The Equality Act is going to put the church in quite a position, and they're coming for us because we will not bow, we will not say nay. Uh, or yea, to their agenda, we say nay to it because of the Word of God. And they will, multitude of people will set themselves round about us, and they will be against us. They will be the ones that will say, there is no salvation for them in God. But we know that the Lord is with us. He's the one that's a shield about us. And while we may suffer, just as the church has suffered down through the centuries, uh, yet We will stand firm and we will say, I will not be afraid of the multitude of people. Let them come against us, though they set themselves round about me. Of course, here it's me, but I'm thinking of the church. John Mason Neal, in his his commentary on the Psalms, thought of the church as well. He said, this psalm is fitly used by the church in commemoration of the martyrs, in whom this verse was fulfilled again and again to the letter, even by maidens and children, as they stood in the amphitheater, alone, unpitied, the mark for the cruel stare of myriads of spectators crying, Christians to the lions. And then he he quotes this piece, which is very poetic. He says, Thus in the arena he stood by himself, one minute not longer, here on his side a child, on the other ten myriad pagans. Then did the Christians in peace send up one deep supplication. God would again show his praise in the mouth of babes and of sucklings. Trembling not, fearing any now, Philemon came forward a little nearer to the mouth of the den, where the creaking winch told was the lion. Back flew the gate, black maned the beast with the roar of his fury, sprang in one bound on the child, and the child was in Abraham's bosom. This is the story of the church down through the ages. They, the multitude of the peoples, they will be around us. They will set themselves against us, and yet we will not be afraid. Join me again tomorrow. We'll look at verses 7 and 8 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, 
check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.